Hey guys, this is just a quick video. Gary Simon here of Corsetra.com. I just wanted to put this out there real quick just because Adobe just released February's update for experience design. Now, if you've been paying attention, then you'll know that Adobe is planning on releasing an update for XD every month. Now, fortunately, they're sticking to their word. So just yesterday for this update, there are four additions, two of which are big in my opinion. So first we have sharing, the ability to share your artwork now. And I already created kind of like a share just for this little fake project here. And scrollable artboards, blurring elements of the user interface and exporting SVG. And previously you can only export PNG. So now you can import and export SVG files. Okay, so let me just show you scrollable artboards and blurring elements of the user interface and how all of that works. Now, right here, this is just kind of a template that I took from the Android or the Google Material Design uh, user interface kit. I have two windows open, by the way. So this is where I grabbed that from. And you can just grab it from right there over here if you want to follow along or not. And so what we can do now is if we click on the artboard itself, we can see that it has a viewport height section right here. It's kind of hard to see because they've made these so, you know, not very much contrast. I don't know why they did that. Uh, but as you can see, it's set to 667 for the, uh, the actual viewport height. So to make something scrollable, uh, like for a given artboard itself, all you have to do now is we can select it and we can just drag it down so you know maybe just a little bit further right around here i'm going to get rid of this and then we'll take this repeating list of names and we'll just go all the way down past the viewport and as you can see it has this little dotted line that lets us know the viewport and so all this stuff will be scrolled content that will be visible so just to give you an idea of what that is, we'll go to prototype, we hit play. And now if we hover over it. Previously, this did not happen. We could see that we have this scroll bar and we can scroll down. Obviously, a, basically a necessity of a feature for a full fledged app, but they're getting there. And so I uh, just to show you uh, the blurring of elements, let's go ahead. I'm just going to take this and copy it, the artboard, and then paste it. And this one doesn't even need to scroll necessarily, so I'll just bring that back up. And what we'll do is, you can use any of these shapes, or shape tools, the pen tool or whatever. I'm just gonna use the rectangle tool, as that one makes the most sense. I want to, let's say for instance, we wanted to blur out the whole interface in order to have focus brought towards maybe a little pop-up window here. So the way we do this, we draw it out. We can get rid of the border here. We do not need that. And, or you could just uncheck it. That would've been quicker. And then you can see we have this new option, background blur. All right, so it's like, what is that? Okay, it doesn't make sense. Well, it's because the amount is so high. So if we drag this down, now it looks a lot better. So maybe right around there makes sense. And then if we switch back to, I'm going to switch back to my uh, interface kit. I'm just going to get one of these pop-ups right here and copy that. Go back and I'll just paste it right in and position this as I need to. And it's a little bit, uh, a little bit too much showing through here. So I'll click on this background blur. Blur it out just a tad bit more. Maybe increase the brightness so you can see you can wash it out a little bit more. You can also control the opacity. I think I like that. Now let's go to prototype real quick. And let's just say we click anywhere on here. We'll go here. And we'll leave these at default settings. We'll click on this and we'll go back and then we'll hit play. Yada, 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 click, and there we go. Very cool. So these are two 
big features that are definitely going to be you know coming in handy for pretty much any serious app design or mock-up project. All right, so that's it for this update. I'm personally looking forward to what are called micro interactions. Now I hit up Adobe on their Facebook account to inquire about what or when they're going to release the ability to animate individual user interface elements as opposed just to being able to animate the page transitions, which is really all they allow you to do at this point in terms of animation. And they actually responded and said that yes, they're calling these micro interactions and it is on their roadmap. Okay, so I've been really busy with other stuff lately, but look out for more tutorials in the very near future, like within the week or so. Once I get all this other stuff out of the way, I've been recording courses for another network, um, but that's almost completed, fortunately. All right, so subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't yet and check out Corsetro.com. See ya.